In this video, let's study the interest rate risk for banks and the so-called gap analysis. Let's first consider where the profit for a bank comes from. Banks pay a relatively lower interest rate on the deposits so that they can attract people to put money into their banks. And then from this money people put into the bank, they make long-term loans and then they charge a relatively higher interest rate on those long-term loans. So there is a margin or a gap between the higher interest rate they charge on the long-term loans and the lower interest rate they pay on the deposits. It is from this interest rate gap they can make the profit. Now let's look at this business on a bank's balance sheet. Let's say this bank has $100 in total assets and there is $20 in interest rate sensitive assets and $80 in interest rate insensitive assets. The interest rate sensitive assets can be treasury bills or other short term securities and their value change together with interest rate. So does the revenue from these assets. If interest rate increases, uh, the revenue from these assets will increase as well. The interest rate insensitive assets, the $80 here, are the long-term loans that bank can make a big portion of their revenue on. From this 2080 allocation, we can see that banks are very aggressive in trying to make higher revenue. Now let's look at the liability side. There's $50 in interest rate sensitive liabilities and another $50 in interest rate insensitive liabilities. The interest rate sensitive liabilities are the short term deposits. People can take the money out at any time and the banks pay a relatively lower interest rate on these liabilities. The interest rate insensitive liabilities are the term deposits or large denomination CDs. People cannot get their money out uh, at any time they want. They have to wait for um, maybe nine months, a year, three years, five years. But they can get higher interest rate on these interest rate insensitive deposits. Because people want to have more flexibilities in their deposits, relatively there's more interest rate sensitive liabilities than the assets. So people put more money in flexible deposits and the people put relatively less money, less than what the bank want to lend out uh, in kind of inflexible deposits. Because of this mismatch between the assets and the liabilities for a bank, when the interest rate increases, the bank will have a decrease in their profits. Let's look at this uh, calculation here. Uh, let's assume on the asset side and the liability side, there's 1% increase in interest rate. So on the asset side, the interest rate rise from 5% to 6%. And along the liability side, the interest rate rise from 3% to 4%. Now let's consider the revenue uh, from the assets before the rise. Uh, the banks can generate $1, that is 5% of this initial interest rate times the $20 in interest rate sensitive assets and then $4 from the interest rate insensitive assets that's the 5% here times the $80. So the total is $5, 1 plus 4. That's the uh, total revenue, initial total revenue. What about the initial total cost? Uh, the banks has to pay 1.5 dollars 
on the interest rate sensitive liabilities that's this 3% times this $50 here and then uh, also $1.5 on interest rate insensitive liabilities that's the 3% times this $50 here so the cost, the total cost, the initial total cost is $3 so the initial uh, profit you can see is $5 minus $3 the initial profit is $2 now, after the interest rate increase, we can see that for the interest rate insensitive assets and the liabilities, the revenue and the cost won't change. They are fixed. These red numbers are fixed. Why is that? Because these assets and the liabilities, they are interest rate insensitive. And for the interest rate sensitive assets and the liabilities, what we can see. The revenue will increase a little bit because now the new interest rate is higher on the interest rate sensitive assets. So it's 0.6 times the $20. You've got $1.2 revenue from interest rate sensitive assets. But on the liability side, the cost on interest rate sensitive liabilities is much higher this time. It is this 4% new higher interest rate times the $50 interest rate sensitive liabilities. So the cost increased by what? Increased by 0.5. Okay, the cost increased by half dollar. And the revenue only increased by 1.2 minus $1. That's only $0.2. What will happen? The profit will drop. The profit will drop by uh, 0.3 dollars that's the 0.2 minus 0.5 so because the interest rate uh, increase and then the revenue from the interest rate sensitive assets increase a smaller amount because there are less interest rate sensitive assets but there are more interest rate sensitive liabilities so the cost on the interest rate sensitive liabilities increase by a larger amount the net result is a smaller increase in revenue, but a much higher increase in cost and a drop in the profit. Or you can look at this. The total revenue from here is 5.2 after the increase in interest rate. And then the total cost is 3.5. So the new profit is what is 5.2 minus 3.5 that's 1.7 and uh, the old profit is what is 5 minus 3 that's 2 the difference is this one minus this one is minus 0.3 so after an increase in the uh, interest rate the bank profit shrink by 0.3 dollars that's really come from this gap between interest rate sensitive assets and the interest rate sensitive liabilities there's m more interest rate sensitive liabilities than the assets so the cost increase much more than the increase in the revenue 